Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Uh, this marks video 401 consecutive video. Uh, and we're gonna switch gears now. So we've done 400 videos on lifting. Specifically, we talked about the squat, we talked about the deadlift, we talked about the push-up and various handstand progressions, and then we talked about the rowing motion and the, the vertical pulling motion, the pull-up. Now, I love movement and I started there because I think it's easier to discuss, especially over YouTube. Uh, but per the request of a, a dear friend, we are going to start getting into energy systems. So totally switching gears here. What is the way that our bodies respond to exercise? What is the physiology that is happening during exercise? And I want to start this video specifically today, just describing our three primary energy systems. So there's really two ways that we make energy or that we convert things into usable energy because if you've heard the, the rule, energy is neither created nor destroyed, right? So three different pathways that we have, um, but two different ways, either with oxygen or without oxygen. The easiest way to think about this is if I have oxygen, that is one particular type of energy system that is aerobic. So this is your marathoner. This is your energy system that supports you primarily throughout the entire day. Um, it's the thing that's going to make the most amount of energy. It's just a little bit slower in how it does it. So if we do something really, really fast, like throw a baseball, um, it's it's not going to be able to supply most, you know, it might even be close to most, especially if it's later on and we're going to get into that, but it's not going to supply all of our energy. Um, second branch here is anaerobic or without oxygen. And so we've got two different ways that we do that. One is called our phosphagen system, or um, I like to talk about it in terms of lactic and lactate. Um, so I like to call it the alactic anaerobic system. It's the most descriptive name I think that there is. So what this means is we're not creating lactate and we're going to go into that later. Lactate is a byproduct of fatigue basically. It's, it's, it's highly correlated with fatigue. It doesn't mean that you are fatigued and uh, it doesn't cause fatigue but it does generally increase in concentration while fatigue increases. So our second system here, this alactic anaerobic system, this is the one that's primarily supporting that, that baseball throw that we talked about earlier, those really short, intense bursts of activity. And it's gonna help you um, start out a sprint or uh, begin most of your exercise. So if you have a, a set of 10 on squats and you're going for a really long time, it's going to help you out for the first maybe 10 or so, 10 or 15 seconds, depending on how fast you're moving. Um, yeah, alactic anaerobic. So we talked about the with oxygen system, the aerobic system. And then we talked about the without oxygen first system, the alactic anaerobic system. And now what this means, if we know our etymology, is lactic anaerobic is our other system. And so this is another one that doesn't require oxygen to work. This is the, um, the it's actually the system that different bacteria use to um, support their their energy demands because they don't need a whole lot of energy because there's just this single celled organism um, and sometimes they need it pretty quickly and that's kind of what we we see here this system the lactic anaerobic system is our buffer between the two that i talked about already so if i I need more time than I've got from the alactic anaerobic system, but I need it quicker than I can get it from the aerobic system. That's where this um, lactic anaerobic or this glycolytic energy system comes from. What we notice with this is I start to get fatigued when I, when I do that, uh, when I really tap into that glycolysis. And this is where, as the name suggests, there is more lactate 
being produced and also more fatigue experienced. So that is a really short introduction to the three primary energy systems of our bodies. Um, my man, Brandon Brown, did a really good, he was a, an ex-phys lecturer and peer of mine in uh, college, and he did a really good lecture over at IFAST University, the other site that we ran together. Um, and he, it's called Basic Bioenergetics. He goes through these three systems pretty well. I highly recommend you check that out. It's ifastuniversity.com slash basic dash bioenergetics. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but that's our three systems, the aerobic, the alactic anaerobic, and the lactic anaerobic.